Millennials like me would rather text than talk on our phones, especially when we search for a new bay. But sometimes we get stumped. How often and just what do you text somebody you like? I'm by no means Dr. Love, but... In honor of Valentine's Day and the ongoing war of who should text whom first and when, here are some tips on texting the person you're in like with after the first date. First of all, there's not really an opportune time. If you feel the need, just do it. But staying patient is good too if you don't know what to say. It's usually a smooth move to ask if the person got home safely. And if you had a good time, say it and add that you want to hang again. But don't be scared to put yourself out there. The other person is probably just as nervous. Maybe flash back to a fun moment during the night, something you can both laugh about again over text. Now if the date didn't go as planned and you have no interest in a round two, be honest and nice to the person. Admit it went badly. If you want to, ask if the person wants to try again. And don't worry that it didn't work out. There are more fish in the sea. Now on to emojis. Sure, they can seem a bit childish, but they can be fun if used in moderation. They can also be good ways to text back when you don't exactly know what to say. Because who doesn't love a goofy looking moon or a smiling turd? Last, but definitely not least, there's the dreaded double text. As in, you respond, but the other person doesn't, and then you send another text. If somebody doesn't respond after a few hours, text them again. If they don't respond after that, just chill. Long story short, just relax and follow your instincts. Don't overthink a simple message containing a few words. Just be you, and everything should be cool. For more lovey-dovey Valentine's Day news, go to usatoday.com. Happy Valentine's Day.